I heard today, well, I heard that for today, the Queen wasn't making a speech, but there was one. So she starts her, um, starts off with them doing God Save the Queen outside, I think. Adding this bit, um, I saw what animals there were on the steps in the video we're just looking at. There's a lion and a unicorn. But on this one, there's an eagle at the top because she is the top. She's the top. Oh, look at that. Look at that one on this one. That is um, armour. No, I mean, there's an eagle there. Let's have a look at a few of them. Oh, this one with the coat of arms. Oh, look, it's a coat of arms from England from 1554 to 1558. Really? Eagle. Two lions. Look at all those lions. Crosses, crisscrosses. Right. Ah, oh, the United Kingdom. Cross, crisscross. Still got the armour here. Anyway. Just saw this one, so the coat of arms for Nova Scotia. Obviously, they must be on the crisscross. Yes. Cool. Great estate coat of arms of whatever that word is, or well, I'm not reading that because I'll probably read it wrong. But, um, or double eagles or griffins. Right. Anyway, back to the fact that these are the animals at the front of where they're doing the band, where they're singing God Save the Queen. It's got to be Windsor Castle, hasn't it? Or are they up in Scotland now? This is the start of her video. I'm, I'm not sure which castle it is. I think it... I don't know. I don't want to say it's Windsor and then it's Scotland, but it's... Uh, they're in, what, I don't know, anyway, but that castle, she wasn't there, because the flag isn't up, do you see that, when they made this video, which is the beginning of her video, she wasn't at this place, because the flag isn't up, when the flag is up, she's there, supposingly, when the flag's down, she's not there, so it's a bit strange, isn't it, you think that there'd be a flag flying here, to say, I'm here, or at some point, and they probably didn't do this last week, they probably did it a few months ago. Well, sorry, they made it ten years ago, or however long ago it is that they make these things. But it's a bit strange, isn't it, starting this whole thing without her being present. Maybe that's a bit of signals here all the time. Can't remember where they are, but look at that. There she is, sitting at her desk. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to tell me what you think's wrong. How big? How big is this? How big? is this table that there's this little queen the other side of it she's making her speech everything here is blurry including that picture of her and him which is closer look at the size of the desk that is an enormous desk 
don't you think? She's very emotionless in this. She has no emotions in this video. And you never see her face moving, her even a frown or smile or anything, because it's a computer. Uh, we're looking at this piece of, that's supposed to be a lock of hair, you know, like a couple of strands of hair. But you'll see that you can see it in the video. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger now. There. That's not right. What they've done is they've cut round that and pasted her in. Anyway, that's what I thought of the Queen. For this next bit of video we're going back to Abandoned. Um, I thought I'd just look up in the UK there are places here Abandoned but I don't think they're quite on the scale as America. Maybe there's one there look that's Abandoned a small town there. Anyway, let's continue. All abandoned, so much abandoned. I could scroll this, I think, forever, and you would find different buildings, different places, hospitals, schools, prisons, you name it, whatever it is, dentists, towns, villages, <sighs> old towns, I mean like hundreds of years ago, and ones more modern, flattened, centralia, the whole thing. Anyway, let's continue with the move, with the video. Anyway, there I was, you know, sometimes I watch these things when I go to bed, sometimes I run to unwind. I'm going to be talking about this viaduct. This guy will explain me about it. I watch him quite a lot. He also is somebody that I watched with Josh. I didn't start watching these, so I thought, oh, I'll take bits of their video. But was watching them because they were going to these abandoned places and it caught my eye. I didn't realise how much it was going to catch my eye. Now this place was built in 1910. Or was it? Because it looks quite Tartarian but they've just taken some bits off of it so you don't notice how Tartarian it is. Or was it built in 1910? Because these people were amazing at building. Absolutely amazing. Um, we couldn't do this today really, we all have to be metal, these people did it all in brick, and um, stone, brick. Um, anyway, let's watch this little section of video and you tell me what you think. Alright, I'm in rural New Jersey today, and it's hot out, I'm already sweating. Uh, I'm at the Paul and Skill Viaduct, that was built by the Delaware. Where Lackawanna and Western Railroad in 1910. This has seven massive arches. It's about 1,100 feet long and at its highest point is 115 feet high. At the time it was 
the largest concrete structure in the world until just a few years later in 1915, a much bigger viaduct was built in Pennsylvania. But really this one, the, the uh, pollen scale, was really the first of very large viaducts to be built. And uh, I think it was decommissioned or closed, whatever you want to call it, in 1979. And probably the most interesting thing about this bridge are the passageways that go down inside the bridge in those arches, those seven arches, that were built for inspecting and maybe servicing parts of the bridge. The access was down through these manholes. And that's where I'm headed today, going down inside this viaduct. And this is how you get inside. This channel's called Mobile Instinct. Um, he does many, many, many videos. Please go over to his channel and watch. I'm subbed and watch his videos. He's obviously going inside it now. He's gone with a friend. The amount of graffiti in here. I quite liked it, actually. <laughs> oh, dear me, I quite liked it. Um, he's got to walk up and over each arch and over each arch, but... Um, thought they looked quite sort of colourful. At least they've done it inside rather than outside. Perfect. You don't want them drawing all over it. It's better that they've done it inside. Anyway, let's carry on. I don't know how many, a bunch of them. Kind of make your way through here. Really cool graffiti. And they get steeper and steeper because the arch, this is just one arch out of seven. So at the, at the top, the very top, you're 115 feet. Uh, I don't know what, what I am now, but maybe 50. Another interesting fact is there have been talks over the years of New Jersey Transit reclaiming this viaduct and actually reusing it. Oddly enough, since it's been abandoned for 40 plus years, um, but those talks, have, they've been going on for two decades at least, so I doubt it will ever happen. But I guess that means that this bridge still has really good bones, that it was built very soundly. And for all you ghost hunters out there, apparently there's an old story that a man, a construction worker, was killed back when they were building this and uh, he still haunts the tracks or where the tracks used to be up above and inside the tunnels at night. So if you are anywhere in the uh, northern New Jersey area, you wanna come and check this out because maybe you'll see some ghosts or at least one ghost. Here he is somewhere else. I think it's called the Hellbar Dam, but he's going to explain just a tiny bit there. And then please go and watch the whole video because it's 21 minutes. I've just taken a couple of moments to explain where he's gone. But please go and watch this video. This is another place built many years ago and about the same time as the viaduct. And again, it's abandoned. This building here looks, I don't know if it looks older, but amazing and they said that they it was leaking water and all this kind of stuff but it's still there yes it is flooded in the bottom when he walks around it's flooded but it's still there abandoned let's watch what he says and please go and sub to his channel Hailtown at the Hales Bar Dam and Stephen here is going to give us a personal tour of this amazing historic dam so you stick around this is going to be interesting so really quickly here's some information about this dam while you're watching some drone footage the Hales Bar hydroelectric dam was completed in 1913 and at one time consisted of a 1,000 foot spillway that crossed the Tennessee River 
The original locks still remain on the other side, however, the spillway was demolished many years ago. Almost from day one, Hales Bar Dam was plagued by leaks. In fact, in 1931, a study revealed that the dam was leaking at a rate of 1,000 cubic feet every second. And after spending millions of dollars on failed repairs, the entire dam was shut down in 1967 and replaced by the Nickajack Dam six miles upriver. The most interesting thing about this dam is the tunnel that crossed the river from one side of the dam to the other and was regularly used by not only dam workers but children on their way to and from school. In fact, two of those children are believed to have died in a tunnel flooding accident. Actually, Hales Bar Dam is known for many deaths and it has become a popular building for ghost hunting. The history of this dam is extremely interesting, so we are going to get inside this building, inside the tunnels, and see what this place looks like now, all these years later. This one is by Ninurta, I think that's right. Um, they were out filming in Nor Norlisk. And obviously it must have been, well there's red brick everywhere, look at it, and they've even filled in the windows with red brick. Um, it must have been a mining place, because they seem to have mines everywhere. And it is in a very, very cold part of Russia. I'm not sure if it's quite Siberia, but it's still very cold there. Obviously, he says it's winter there, so he's walking around now, but I mean, it's winter probably for nine months of the year in places like this, but they, this probably gets a hot summer. Whereas I find it really weird, I'm watching someone in Svalbard, who's up in the North Pole, and they get cold weather, but they don't get it quite like this. Well, so far, I'm watching. She's not as cold as here, and if she is, she just doesn't have the snow, and the water's really calm. But anyway, these are all abandoned. And look at that ice, just look at that. It's amazing how much is abandoned. Well, we don't want it anymore, so just leave it over there. No one will notice it's all abandoned. Everything seems to be abandoned. And yet we're not noticing it. Not at all. Obviously, you're not going to notice this one so much because it's really north in Russia. But in America, there's many places that are abandoned. Three quarters of Chicago is rotting away. Nobody says anything. Nobody really notices. It's not like the media are going, look at Detroit, three quarters of it is abandoned. No, they've just got put Trump and Biden on there, the little Roman people. That's all they're interested in is. The television is an arena. It's an arena. But so much money has been spent and wasted. You know, in this place they've got an abandoned bus depot, which we're going to get to in a minute. You would think that they'd maybe try and sell the buses on in the rest of Russia. You mean the rest of Russia might not need buses? Just leave them there and leave them rotting away. Everything is abandoned. I suppose abandoned is abandoned. How can we be living in this place? with governments when so much is abandoned. Why don't they tell the truth about how much is abandoned? I think it is disgusting that we're just living in all this abandoned stuff. Anyway, this person's walking around, as I say, their video is about 20 odd minutes long, so please go and watch their video. As I said, I've subbed to them and liked their video. I've had quite a few views. Um, Look at it. I must admit, when I looked at some of the pictures, I was a bit shocked what it says, but it's cold up there, and a lot of the people don't want to live there because it's so cold and dark in the winters. There it is in Russia. It's so funny when they make the globe. They have to make the globe when we know that it falls flat. Anyway, that's Norlisk. I don't know how you say it. Obviously, that's a Russian way of saying it. Um, it is quite north. 
I mean, it looks quite lovely, but it gets quite cold. Look at those, look at those mountains. That's obviously why they get a lot of snow. There it is up there, see the little mast, there it is up here. Yes. I don't think I'd like to live there. There is China, with we know with uh, really high mountains and another plane there. Anyway, it's in there, about, about there somewhere. Or maybe a little bit to the right, actually. I don't know, it's in here somewhere. Anyway, I looked up some pictures. Look at that sinkhole there on that picture. Wow. Um, there is a town there, but obviously there's big sections, maybe not quite in the town itself, but are abandoned. But that one said the most depressing place they've ever seen, the most depressing city I've ever seen. Another person saying the same. So I can't imagine it's probably that nice living there, really. Nice church. Look at that, the coldest and most polluted cities. But we know that a lot of the mining places have gone. Anyway, this is the bus depot. All well, these buses in it. Of course, it's winter, the snow's come in, and um, in this amazing building. They're calling it like a space disc. Um, they're underneath this place. You mean to say that Russia couldn't have done with a few more buses? Hey, we, 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 we're closing down. Have them. Have the buses. No, they're all left there rotting away. Anyway, this is him going into this disc building. What an amazing building, all in red brick. So I can't imagine it's new then, even if they want to pretend that it is. And these are all the abandoned buses in there. Why? You could have given them away. Given them to other countries, you come and collect them. No, leave them rotting. We pay for them now, they're meaningless. Just let them rot away. Nobody needs them. Real shame, hey? Obviously the people don't, as many people don't live there anymore because if it's had a mine in it, then they've closed the mines and then the people move out. And a lot of people want to move away because it is so cold in the winter and dark. But anyway, what do you think of the videos? Everything still seems to be abandoned as far as I can see, everywhere you look. I'm so surprised that we're not noticing it. And please sub to this channel here. Thanks very much for watching. What's your thoughts? Also, thank you to both these channels. I hope they don't mind me using a bit of their footage. Um, thank you very much.